All right, hey everyone, QB King seventy seven here from the Android Creative Syndicate team here to just show you how to root the Samsung Prevail. First, you're going to need to go to the ETS website. I will link that in the description of the video. Once you uh, go there, you're going to go to this screen right here and click on uh, Samsung Prevail root, and then click on the rooting link. After you click on one click root, you're going to want to scroll down. This is courtesy of Interdepth, as you guys can see. Um, you're going to want to click on the driver. Right click on it and hit save link as. It will open this up and then just go ahead and save it to your desktop. It will download it, it will put it on your desktop, and put this .exe file right here, as you guys can see. Double click on that after it's downloaded. It will, uh, this will install the drivers for your phone. See now it says download complete. You can go ahead and double click on the, on the driver. F, and then it opens up. Go ahead and hit next. Choose your language. Next again. Install. Hit yes if you haven't installed, but otherwise just go ahead and hit yes. At this time, go ahead and make sure your phone's not plugged in. Go ahead and take it and put it in USB debugging. Go to Settings, uh, Applications, click on uh, Development, and then check USB debugging. Make sure that's checked. And in the meantime, go ahead and open a command prompt. Go ahead and just type CMD in your search in your Windows. And then just as the, uh, the drivers do install, you guys can do this. You'll need this open in the future. All right, now that the drivers have installed, go ahead and just hit quit, and then I believe you can just go ahead and plug your phone in and let it uh, let Windows install the device driver software. As you can see, it says installing the device driver software in the bottom right corner. Let it let it do that before you do anything. It might take a little while. You're also going to need to install that KMS.zip file from that website that I showed you. Um, after you have it, go ahead and extract it to your desktop. There's just a folder inside of it. Just use WinRAR or 7-zip to extract it. Open it up, extract it, the folder to your desktop because you're going to need that folder as well. Still installing, could be done pretty soon. Once it's done installing, you can go ahead and plug your phone into your computer. I mean, it's already, it's already plugged in. <laughs> okay, now the device is ready to use. So now that it's ready, you can go ahead and take this, uh, open up that KMS. Um, but you, you won't need that yet, but you'll need that folder open. Go ahead and go back to your, uh, your command prompt. The one that's highlighted, if you're on Windows, that's when you'll be double clicking to to run the root and for the Linux Mac you're going to uh, run that through a command prompt if you're on a Mac to the root or prevail. But anyways, go back to this command prompt and then go ahead and type ADB reboot and hit enter. Your phone I believe should reboot and get it all set ready to go to be rooted. And then once it's booted back up, you're going to want to double click on this, uh, this, this file. And double click it, you're going to press it, and then it will run through the rooting process. If it doesn't work the first time, go ahead and just run it again. Just keep running it until it works. Um, the screen's going to look like this. Just let it run through. So you guys can watch what it looks like.
might take a little while, so be patient with it. Just a quick note that this uh, entire the images that you are viewing with this video is all thanks to InterDepth. I'm just doing a little voiceover for it. Alright, and then press any key to continue. Should be done. Your phone should have rebooted, and you're rooted.